Hello, good morning. This is Dr. Eric Chow. Today, I would like to talk about uh, the U.S. high school physics curriculum and how to study physics in high school. The reason why I am interested in this topic is that this year I have a few students who is studying computer science with me and they are going to be promoted to the junior standing in their high school and they will start their physics study. And I feel there's a strong need to talk about the high school curriculum for the physics because uh, the physics curriculum in US is very bizarre, very strange and very unclear. So I feel that like I have the responsibility to, to talk about it and wish that everybody can enjoy the journey of studying uh, physics. Okay, let's get started. First, what is the importance of the physics? Uh, we, uh, math is a key in, com uh, in, the, in the STEM education that we know. Computer is the queen. Both are very important. We use math to model the physical world. And then we use the computer science to realize them for the simulation or analytical model. Then there are two more subjects that is very important that is used to model the physical world for the domain knowledge. One is physics, okay? It is used to model the STEM fields. And then the other one is the economics. So both are using the mathematical model to study the physical world and economics more focused on social science and uh, business. Okay, so these are two very important subjects. So physics is also very, very important. So physics can be considered as a applied math field. Okay, the first level of the physics that is taught in high school is the conceptual physics. So conceptual physics does not uh, involve too much mathematics. So there was a proposal for AP Physics A, but they, this, this exam never been materialized. That means that uh, AP Physics A never been uh, really tested in the AP exam. And actually it was designed concurrently with the AP Physics B and AP Physics C, but AP Physics a was supposed to be conceptual only. That means that they don't require you to have, have heavy calculation. They just need you to calculate very simple uh, ideas such as uh, velocity equals delta distance displacement of the uh, some object over the dis uh, difference of the time. Something that are very simple of or F equals MA type of uh, formula. Very simple, simple, very simple. Uh, mass or even no mass, okay? But this exam never been materialized because uh, college never grant any credit for AP Physics A because they have no mass. So this exam, uh, this one never been uh, uh, really been used. But in high school, we do have the so-called uh, regular uh, physics course and also have the honor physics course. So regular physics course and other physics course are supposed to be the replacement for AP Physics A course. And after these two courses, you are supposed to take the SAT subject uh, physics. And SAT subject physics is supposed to test only the conceptual physics. And it was a layer for many years, but since 2020, uh, they canceled the SAT physics, uh, 2021, they canceled the test for the SAT physics. But I still strongly recommend that students uh, after finish the uh, physics or honor physics to study this book, The Parents Science 360, the physics, to make sure that you have the required level for the conceptual physics. Then after that, uh, students will be introduced to the algebra-based physics. And algebra-based physics will require algebra. And in high school, we had the mass level of the Algebra one, two, geometry, and trigonometry, and also algebra three. Algebra three is supposed to be the honor precal, honor precalculus. So the total package that you learn in high school math is used to this uh, algebra-based physics. 
an algebra based physics was was named as AP physics B. Okay, it's an introductory uh, college level algebra based uh, physics uh, with lab component, but it was replaced by AP physics one and two in the year. 2014 and 2015 was the first year to test it. Was the first year to test the AP Fish one and two. And AP Fish one has the Newtonian uh, mechanism and the rotational mechanism. And up AP Fish two covered the thermodynamic fluid uh, mechanics, optics, electricity, and the mechanic me mechanism and the modern physics. So this is the mother piece. And usually they use this textbook, Douglas Geocoli's uh, physics book. Okay, they usually use this textbook for it. And the difference is between the AP physics A and B is B require much more mass level. And usually we recommend some high school students at least uh, take this AP physics B level course. And now it's AP physics one and two. And after that, we'll go into the calculus-based uh, physics. And calculus is the minimum requirement to take the cal calculus-based uh, physics. And calculus-based calculus based physics is supposed to be real college physics. And college physics, we have college physics one and two and the three. And AP physics C actually only provide physics one and two, that is the mechanics and the E and M. These two courses, C is not uh, provided by AP exam. And in Berkeley, you will see Phoenix 5A, 5B, uh, and 5C, or 7A, 7B, 7C. Uh, this course series to cover the college Phoenix 1, 2, 3, okay? And the difference between series five and series seven is a series seven is more for uh, electrical engineering or some other uh, major. And series five is more for physics major uh, student. But anyway, uh, physics C uh, is supposed to cover the whole college uh, physics, but physics three is not being uh, offered. And even if you took the uh, the AP physics C mechanics, uh, you can actually use that to replace for the credit for the 7A. But if you take the physics E and M, but Berkeley doesn't allow you to replace any credit, you will need to re retake the 7B. 7B need to have the re uh, retake, okay? And because e each department, they require you to have a stronger E and M knowledge. So they don't, require, they don't allow uh, AP physics C, E and M to uh, replace their uh, ENM course in uh, college level. So if you want to get admitted to uh, Berkeley or MIT or Caltech, this is a type of elite uh, research university in uh, electrical engineering or computer engineering field. I would read, I would actually strongly suggest that you need to take both of the physics uh, courses in high school, in high school. Okay, so if you are non-STEM student and you take a, a honor or non-honor fees, that would be enough, that would be enough. Okay, that would be enough. And then, uh, and this honor fees is supposed to be conceptual physics. And if you have Y plus one, this is actually, uh, Y plus one mass level is like 11th grade, you take the honor pre-calculus. And 12th grade, you take the calculus courses, A, B, or B, C. This I call it uh, year plus one uh, mass level. If you are at this level uh, and you would like to take honor uh, uh, pre in the 11th grade, and then uh, algebra based uh, physics in the 12th grade, that is okay. And this is good for some major uh, in STEM field. Okay. But if you actually has a Y plus two mass, that means that in the 10th grade, you take the pre-cal, 11th grade, you take a calculus A, B, or B, C. A 12th grade, you take the B, C, or multi-variable or differential equation, something like that, okay? Then you can take 
uh, either Anna Picard in 11 and then AP Calcul B C, uh, AK, uh, PDC uh, in 12th grade. Okay, and you can also take the PDC 1, 2 in 11 and then, uh, and then uh, AP PDC in 12th grade. Okay, this is year two curriculum for the STEM Y plus two. And Y plus two is good enough for many, many good university and uh, program already. Okay, but some high school, they just uh, support you some course that is, they only give you AP Physics 1 and AP Physics C mechanism, but they don't give you AP Physics 2 and the E and M, okay? So in that case, I would suggest that you take on yourself. Okay, you can take these two courses in your high school, and I suggest you at least to take the E and M by yourself. Okay, if your math level is even uh, faster and, and you can uh, take, uh, and some high school like Saratoga High or Limbrough High School, uh, in 11th grade, they offer AP Physics 1 and 2. And then uh, 12th grade, they offer AP Physics C, M, and E and M. Okay, so this one's more complete. And I like this type of curriculum, but not every high school uh, support this. So if you want to go to the elite college, what is suggested it is like before uh, 11th grade, you should finish your honor precalculus. One way to do it is in the 10th grade summer to finish this one. And then 11th grade, you take the algebra base. 12th grade, you finish, uh, you, you finish the calculus base. And after you finish the so-called algebra base uh, calculus, uh, algebra based uh, physics, you can go to take the F equals MA uh, exam. That is the preliminary uh, exam for the USAFO, uh, USA uh, Physics Olympia. And then, and then you can continue to move on to com compete in the uh, USAFO competition and become a US physics team. If you really consider top level X program, in the university or uh, good physics uh, major, uh, this is the, the way that you need to prepare yourself in high school. And where to get those courses that you don't have in your high school? One, look, one place that you can get it is the uh, Stanford pre-college uh, pre uh, online math and physics uh, courses. In the, their math, they support the math courses that you need in uh, for the college that your high school may not support, may not support. And the Phoenix cover the Phoenix 3. So go beyond your AP Phoenix C, E, and N and cover the heat and, and light and the modern Phoenix and uh, uh, many quantum mechanism, mechanics. But you do need to uh, complete many math courses. Okay, you do need to complete many courses. So your math level determine how much physics course that you can take in your high school. And uh, right here, I try to give you the overall idea of what is the US high school uh, physics curriculum. Not AB high school provide the same program. And if your high school's curriculum has deficiency, you be better find your own solution for it. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Bye now. Bye-bye.